What's changing in Italy? What's new in Italy? Italy has finally launched its digital nomad visa. Make your Italian dream come true. You can expect a hefty fine of up to 300 euro. Hey there, friends! Welcome back to Dramatically Expatic. There have been some important changes in Italy that may affect you coming to this country in the nearest future. And that means one thing only. It's time for some breaking news. What's changing in Italy? What's new in Italy? I'll update you on everything in this video. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe so you get to know that you finally can visit this country on a digital nomad visa and that you'll have to pay extra to visit some of the most famous Italian landmarks. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Now to the most important news of this month. After years of speculation, Italy has finally launched its digital nomad visa. So what does it mean for you? Primarily, if you are a digital nomad and if you work remotely, you can visit Italy and stay here long term without having to find alternative ways to obtain a permission to stay here. This kind of visa was first announced about two years ago and finally it's official and you can apply to it starting from April 4th. But what do you need in order to qualify? It's kind of a given, but you need to be a remote worker, of course. You can be employed or you can be a freelancer working remotely for at least six months before applying. And next, you will, of course, need to show some proof of your remote work and proof of income of approximately 28,000 euro per year in order to qualify for this kind of visa. Next up, you will need to have the health insurance covering Italy for the entire duration of your stay or at least for how long you intend to stay here. You will need accommodation ready and booked and waiting for you here. So clearly you'll need to think in advance and arrange all these kind of things. But after that, you can apply for this visa. Also, don't forget that you will need to uh, file a declaration stating that you have not had any criminal convictions or records in the past five years. Once in Italy, you will have to convert this kind of visa into your residency permit, permesso di soggiorno, which is a regular practice with any kind of a visa. And uh, this residency permit will be valid for one year with the possibility to renew it for up to five years. So yeah, guys, if you are a remote worker, you can now apply to this kind of visa. You can now become a digital nomad in Italy. It's official and I think it's a really, really good news. So book your appointment in the nearest embassy and make your Italian dream come true. Guys, if you like our channel, if you find it useful, if it helps you planning your perfect trip to Italy, don't forget that there are numerous ways to support our work. You can hit the thanks button down below to say thank you, or you can buy us a cup of coffee by following a link in the description box. Also, don't forget that you can get my Bologna travel guide, which will give you unlimited lifetime access to the most complete itinerary of this city, to my best tips and recommendations, handpick recommendations for you, and also the curious facts and mysterious legends and all of the different stories, as well as useful information that you won't find elsewhere in the internet. This is kind of a love letter from me to Bologna, to the city, featuring all of my favorite places and all of the tips that I've learned in all of the years that I've lived here. Most importantly, since today is actually a birthday of our channel, we're celebrating three years since the launch, you can buy the guide with a 30% discount for the entire week to celebrate with us. Check the link in the description box and join me on this walk through Bologna. Still, there are other things to consider when you're traveling to Italy, whether the digital nomad or not. Even if you are visiting Italy as a tourist this year, this information will come in handy. After Venice has announced the introduction of the trials for the entry ticket this year, some other areas have followed in Venice's footsteps, like Cinque Terre, that is also suffering from mass tourism, and they have now found the way to fight it, because sadly, mass tourism often brings more damage than good. To travel the area by train, which is the most common and actually convenient way to travel around Cinque Terre, you will now have to pay the train ticket fee of 10 euros instead of 5 euros on every weekend starting from April. It used to cost 5 euros and it will still cost 5 euros during work days and you'll have to pay the double price on weekends and on festivities 
to fight uh, mass tourism in this way. In addition to that, the fees for the paid hiking trails will also be doubled. And while some people actually support this idea, locals are worried that it may have negative consequences on them economically. So, you know, there is no single opinion. But what do you think about it, guys? Considering it's only about a six kilometers long route, do you think 10 euros is too much for a single train ticket? Also, guys, if you want to stay up to date with the unique information that I do not share elsewhere in real time, make sure to follow me on Instagram because you can also reach me there easily and I can reply to you faster. And yes, you will be up to date with what's happening in my life and in general in Italy. You will find lots of useful information. Check it out. We have a lot of interesting resources there. Last but not least, here is the update on the Venice entry ticket situation. If you've been here for some time, guys, you know that I've been talking a lot about it because it honestly feels like it's been ages since the entry ticket to Venice has been discussed. But year after year, it's been postponed every time and nothing has actually been changing until this year. Finally, it seems like it's being introduced officially. It was actually expected to be introduced back in February for the carnival season, but we went there and also we actually went there a couple of weeks ago to film a new video and there was no entry ticket. By the way, if you want to know how to spend a day in Venice on only 35 euro, make sure to watch my latest vlog from there. I'll leave you a link up here. That's a really, really useful vlog for you guys if you're a budget traveler. But now, yeah, speaking about the entry ticket, Starting from the end of April, the last weekend of April, the ticket will be introduced, but only for the certain days of the year. So it won't be like in Cinque Terre every weekend or, you know, like every festivity. It will cover the festivities and the busiest weekends of the year of the tourist season. The ticket will be required for a total of 29 days this year. And while there will be no turn slides, you will have to pay it in advance. And if the police stops you and asks you, for a ticket and finds out you haven't paid it, you can expect a hefty fine of up to 300 euro. While the regular ticket, if you pay it on time, will cost you only 5 euro and all people age 14 and over will have to pay it, with some exemptions, of course. If you want to find more information on when do you need to pay this ticket and how can you pay it and who is exempt from paying the ticket uh, fee to enter Venice, I will leave you a link in the description box to the website prepared by the locals. I find this website absolutely hilarious. I think it's gorgeous. The locals have done an incredible job at preparing this website for you uh, with the videos and useful information and everything that you might need to know about this, uh, this news, this new entry ticket, this trial for Venice this year. And that's it, guys. I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope it's useful for you to learn about all the news in Italy and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask me in the comments I'll do my best to answer your questions if I have the answers or to share more resources where you can find the useful information and once again I remind you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything new check out my other playlist for more information and our amazing travel vlogs and also stay tuned for more travel vlogs coming soon and with that said, guys, don't forget to put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here and please enjoy your day.